Well, our Josh Hinkle was among the 15,000 who attended today's memorial service behind me and all new here at 6. He spoke to many mourners about their thoughts on this day. I know how it feels to lose someone close, but to have to lose someone on polls where you know, where you feel that they're safe. Megan Osborne says she hugged her husband tight when she first heard about the shootings. He left the post just minutes before it happened. And you feel as though, you know, you know, nothing can happen on post. I mean, they didn't know any of the fallen or wounded, but came to the service anyway because of their connection to those affected. I called her as soon as I knew and told her to lock the doors in that and stay inside. The same fear, the same family. Some soldiers wouldn't speak out of respect. Others just couldn't bring themselves to it. Definitely gets to him and he cares and he sees that it's affecting everybody. Soldier spouses say they have to be strong as their loved ones are reacting to something almost unreal. That they lost four and had so many that were injured. Some of them were my husband's soldiers. He gave his life for his country. It was the greatest honor that he could give to every American that enjoys freedom here in the United States. Their memory will be honored in the places they lived and by the people they touched. Hearing President Obama speak in the service brought comfort to many. Such a sad occasion wasn't the way the Osbournes wanted their girls to first hear the president, but they can always tell them the importance of this day down the road. It's a good morale boost of this, you know, you know, telling us that, you know, he's not too big to come down here and pay respects to the to our fallen comrades. Shortly after the service, Air Force One took off with the presidential group, and now the military will begin the deconstruction process here at the memorial site. We were told today that Fort Hood has lost 545 soldiers in both Iraq and Afghanistan. The soldiers I spoke with today say this loss will take a lot longer to get over. In Fort Hood, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.